Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well today. I am on here with a recent spotlight haul. So I've been purchasing a few things that I've seen while I was at work <laughs> and I just had to have them. So the first thing I will share with you guys is this absolutely stunning trim. I just thought it was so gorgeous. It's got um, flowers like sewn into it. So it's kind of like a chul mesh sort of trim with a little sequin cluster that look like flowers. And then a beautiful gold sequin one as well. I haven't actually looked at it outside of the packaging, but I just thought it looked so pretty. I've never seen anything quite like it before and I believe I'm just trying to think of how much it cost oh $14 but I think I did get it a bit cheaper you know because I work there but not a whole lot but I may have got them for $8 quite possibly but look at that I hope my camera is showing just how beautiful this is Just look at that gorgeous ribbon. So as you guys can see there, it's got a oh, a beautiful like sequin flower cluster there. If my camera wants to focus. And then the gold. I just thought that was so pretty. And yes, it's really expensive, but I just thought that was gorgeous. And it comes from um, Rainbow Trim, I believe the company is called. If it wants to. Not having much luck today with my camera focusing there you go rainbow trim 38 millimeter by two meter roll so absolutely gorgeous and then i saw this one as well and i thought this was so fun and it comes from the same company so this one is rainbow trim 42 millimeter by a three meter roll And on this one, let's again take a look. I haven't um, had a peek yet of how these look or unpackaged anything. So it's like a beautiful rainbow tassel sort of um, trim. If my camera wants to focus, look at that. Look at those colours. Thought it was so fun. It'd be really fun to add to um, a project. Love those rainbow colours. So pretty. And then we have this one here. Which I also thought looked really stunning. So again, by the same company, Rainbow Trim, 40 millimeter by two meter roll. Like even the packaging is cute. And this one, they're saying $14 Australian, but I don't think I paid $14 for them, but I'm not too sure. I just, I'm hopeless. I'm one of those people that just goes into stores and just grabs what I like and I just pay the price and... <laughs> Yes, I have staff discount, but still, it's not, you know, it still works out to be still pricey. But, I mean, look at these. It is so beautiful. That's if my camera wants to focus. Come on, camera. We all want to see how pretty this trim is. So 
absolutely stunning. Look at that. Look at all the sequin flowers. I think that is so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm not too sure what I am going to be doing with these, but I couldn't pass them up. I just, I thought they were so beautiful. But look at those colors. Oh my gosh. Absolutely stunning. So those are the pretty expensive trims that I got. <laughs> then I ended up um, just finding this dye on clearance, this Sizzix dye, Sizzix dye on clearance. I just got that as like a, um, a gift for my pen pals. It's a beautiful floral dye. It comes in parts, so you don't have to do it as the full um, like wreath. So you can do it as like your smaller parts. If my camera wants to freeze, sorry, my voice has gone funny as well. But yeah, it comes in parts. So you can just use this beautiful like leafy floral mix here. You don't have to do the whole um, floral wreath. So pretty. All right, then I saw these gorgeous pack of Sharpies and I just had to have them. <laughs> so they're like a special edition. You get uh, 20 in the pack. You get um, 10 fine and 10 ultra fine. So like your normal sort of, you know, size Sharpies and then an ultra fine size and they're permanent markers. So I just loved the colors. I thought that was so stunning. And these are perfect for when you're needing to write on, um, I find like my Happy Mail packages. I like to use a Sharpie to write the address. Then I know it's um, it's on there good. And these are the beautiful colours you get. thought they were so pretty. hope my camera is focusing. I don't think it is. It's a little hard to see. What do we got there? Celestial grey, purple, lavender, lilac, blue ice, violet, surf, light blue topaz, aquamarine, jet set jade, um, I don't even know how you pronounce this one. Is a, a geode green or geode green? We've got mint. We've got banana clip yellow. Um, citrine. Peach. Leg warmer orange. <laughs> pink lemonade. Cabochon coral. Solar flare red. And pink. How pretty so yeah thought that was a really good value considering you get 20 altogether I think I'm just trying to remember how much I paid for them I don't know if it was around if they were around $30 and then with my staff discount I can't quite remember but yeah I thought they were really pretty and it was such a good value pack and they're just such gorgeous colors so next, I ended up grabbing um, this pack of Sizzix um, shrink plastic so I can create my own shrinky dinks, which I'm really looking forward to doing and trying out. So you can make your own little dangly charms. So looking forward to playing with those. And I believe you just use it by... You know, you can use a heat tool or you can use, um, you just stick them straight into the oven. So you can even like 
So I have a new um, Sizzix die cut machine, a limited edition one that my husband recently bought for me. And I believe you can put, yeah, your dies, like die cut out your dies on the paper, pop them in the oven, and then you've got a cute little dangly charm you can add and create. So I might even try this in my brother scan and cut um, with some like images that um, like digital downloads, you know, from Crate Paper and American Crafts, Maggie Holmes. And I'm going to yeah try and create my little charms and dangles. So you get 10 sheets in there. And oh, I can't remember how much I paid for this either. It might have been around $18 quite possibly. Then I was so excited when I found some new die cuts with a view paper pads in Halloween. Now they only had this um, 6 by 6 paper pad. They didn't have it in the 12 by 12 of the Happy Horns. So I'm going to be keeping my eye out for this one. I loved all the colours that were in it. And this year I'm looking at doing like really sort of bright sort of Halloween colours, like pastelloween mixed with like dark fluorescence and those sort of colours. So I really loved this pattern here, sort of with this, like the moths and then the little pink um, and black and white skulls. And then you got your black paper with gold foiling and fun little pastel and bright colour um, candy on there you got foiling so I'll just see if I can see the patterns in there I love that they're double-sided got cute cats there and the purples you get two sheets of each and I believe oops sorry I believe from but I can see the cats have the gold foiling on their nose. Let's see if my camera wants to focus. Don't know if you guys can see there, the gold foiling on the cats. Then we've got skeletons. I'm sorry, it's absolutely pouring here today. Um, boo, eek, the spooky, little cutter parts you can use them for. I really liked this with the gold foiling. Don't know if it's picking up. There we go. Really pretty colours I'm finding. So I like that one. And there's bats. The orange. I believe that was on the other side of... Yeah, it is. It's on the other side of the moths. And we've got like our, um, oh my gosh, candy corn sort of pattern colours here. Sorry, I had a blank and I was like, please remember. And I did. There's the candy corn there also on that side. Tiny little candy corns. And you get two of each in this, double-sided, which I think I've already said, but. Oh, that makes it a bit easier. I propped it a bit. Got a plaid pattern. And then there's like a grid pattern on the other side there. Oh, there's the pink skulls. So pretty. We've got like a red sort of striped. Oh, is it red or orange? I can't even tell my the lighting. It's because it's raining and thundering here today and gloomy. I have my light on. I think possibly it's like a reddy orange colour. And then you've got pumpkins with gold foiling on the other side on a pink background, which is cute. Like another plaid sort of pattern, little ghosts and foiling again. So the the boo 
has foiling. I don't know if it's showing. And polka dots. What have we got here? This is the candy one that also has gold foiling. How cute. And what I've got on this side, some spider webs with some little spiders. It's kind of like a grayish um, color. Black with beautiful gold foiling. How stunning. Oh, that one's got a, it's like a, a grid sort of pattern. And then it's got like a little floral piece on the corner. So not really Halloween, but I think the idea they're going with this maybe is, um, you know, like the uh, Day of the Dead type with all the florals. I think that's the type of look they were going for. This is a pretty colour. It's like a pale blue sort of colour. It's so pretty. You got little bats and stars and spiders and snakes on here and the moon. Very pretty. And I love that a lot of the pattern papers all go together. And then you've got purple on this side. I'm actually really loving these colours for Halloween. They're going to be so pretty. And then, oh, I think someone had an incident with um, their box cutter when they were opening the package. <laughs> oh, well, it's only the front cover. That's okay. Um, and then you've got some cute cut aparts in there how adorable are they they are so cute oh so cute so that is the six by six mat stack my die cuts with a view yeah and I found that in spotlight and then I also found this Mysterial paper pad, which, oh my gosh, look at the colours. They are stunning. It's kind of almost like a witch, witch um, mystical sort of collection. And I just, I love the colours. So pretty. I love that there's like a set of tarot cards. So what I might do... Before I go into this one is I might just show you this and then I'll open this up and we can have a really good look through it. Mm -hmm. So I also ended up grabbing this, um, this big sort of um, craft caddy storage. It's like a sewing, a sewing box. Mm -hmm. So it was in the dress section. And, um, but I thought this would be really nice to keep all my, like paper products in that I've been creating so like keep it on my craft table sorry I don't know what I've done open that funny so it opens up and then you've got all these different like sections so I was thinking of while I'm crafting all the products and um, projects that I'm creating I can pop them into here or pop like you know when I'm doing a heap of die cutting you know, I can put all my die cut pieces in there and then um, do my creating that way. So I thought this was a great way to just store, you know, what I'm sort of currently making or what's in the go because of all these different like um, sections. So I don't know if you can see because, you know, it's a bit, um, a bit crowded on my table at the moment. So, but it's quite, um, quite a decent size and I love that it's pink. So I'm looking forward to having that, yeah, on my, um, my craft table to pop all my bits and pieces in. And now let's go through 
this gorgeous paper pad. I hope you guys grabbed a, um, a tea or a coffee or a cold beverage. I'm just trying to find my scissors. They're hiding under my, um, oh, what do you call it? I'm having a blank, guys. Crocodile? Yeah, crocodile. <laughs> hiding under my crocodile. Oh my gosh. I have blank all the time now. Okay, so let's try. Actually, I don't even know why I... I've got my cute little paper cutter that I keep forgetting that I have that I grabbed from, um, isn't it Shein online? So let's carefully try and cut that open. I'm hoping to get a head start on some of my Halloween crafting real soon because I was a little bit late to it last year and I kind of ran out of time like I got some things done but not as much as what I wanted to and then I got a whole heap of inspiration from a lot of ladies like I don't know if you guys saw um Claire the curious trinket her Halloween projects were absolutely amazing I loved how she added all these bright colors into her Halloween and that's kind of what I'm you know aspiring to to create this year as well for my halloween so yeah she was my my inspiration there oh dear i am absolutely chopping up this paper pad all right let's have a look so this one is mysterial with foiled sheets at these pretties oh my gosh look at the mushrooms oh wow my daughter's gonna love this moon child believe in magic I put a spell on you life is magical oh your future is bright love it absolutely love it and yeah there's not really much um pink in this collection but you can add your pink into it like incorporate it in with this beautiful mix it's so pretty and then we've got stripes black and white stripes on the other side so two of each again creeping it real <laughs> you've got your um like your cauldron and your poison snakes switches hat skulls and bones and then the other side is oh they're like eyes so it almost looks like a sun or a star sort of symbol with an eye in the middle it's a little hard my my eyesight's terrible so It's getting worse and I woke up this morning and I ended up having some weird reaction to my eye and it's still a bit funny it's all like gone all puffy and swollen so I have taken an antihistamine for it how pretty is this black paper with silver foiled like crescent moons and stars so pretty oh I love this side as well it's um it's got a heap of like hands and like crystals and candles and mushrooms and moths, butterflies, stars, beetles, tarot cards. Um, uh, what do you call it? Again, having a complete blank. Uh, I can't remember. Ball, crystal ball. <laughs> oh dear. I am losing it, guys. Absolutely losing it. I don't know what I'm going to be like in, you know, 10 years' time if my brain's already going now. <laughs> um, this one, oh, this one has almost like um, your terranium set of glass jars, and there's mushrooms inside the little terranium, like glass globe. 
and then there's little jars with like little eyeballs and little potions oh I really like that too how pretty and I have a stamp very similar to this that I did with I think it was Crestfire um, I chose this beautiful crystal wax um, head and it has flowers coming out of it and that's what this piece reminds me of here it's so pretty with all these like circular pieces oh guys and I'm so excited guess what's coming out very soon Hocus Pocus 2 I cannot wait and I believe it's going to be on Disney I think Disney Plus so can't wait to see Hocus Pocus 2 Hocus Pocus is my all-time favorite uh, Halloween movie so I'm pretty excited after all these years that they've done a number two and still you know using the original like characters it's awesome except for I don't think they used Thora Birch because yeah I don't know if she's still acting anymore this one has a kind of like the moths with little skull heads We have some, ooh, ooh, I think, yeah, witches on broomsticks. Whoops. Oh, I'll just do that. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be using it anyway. Yeah, little witches on broomsticks on this really pretty, like, it's like a sherbety orange color. I absolutely love it. I'm loving these, like, pastel sort of colors. Look at this with the silver foiled mushrooms the stars and the moon oh my gosh my daughter is going to absolutely love this she loves anything that's got mushrooms on it like it's you know her thing along with anime ah <laughs> oh, so pretty and i love mushrooms as well it's like my favorite vegetable ever like we always have to have mushrooms in our fridge like all the time that's the one thing we can't go without in this household and then there's on the other side is this pretty purple with mushrooms leaves um flowers stars and moths Sorry, guys, I'm getting a little bit distracted because there's someone just out the front making a heap of noise. I don't know what they're doing because it's raining outside and, yeah. Anyway, this one is similar to the other one that I shared with you before, only it's a paler colour. You've got a hand holding some tarot cards, the crystal ball. It is just oh, so cute. I love it. I, I wish they came out with a whole collection. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wish they made chipboard stickers and ephemera and stickers and things like that to go with their paper pads. I think that'd be so amazing. And then on the other side is a black and white stripe. Then you've got like your cut apart sheet with all the strips. You can make your own like strip banners or use it, use it as like layering sort of pieces on your embellishments for bag toppers. And there's foiling on those as well, like silver foiling. Like little black cats with the cauldron and the witch's hat little like key like skeleton key <laughs> then we've got oh look yep skeleton key so it's like a skull and then they've popped a key <laughs> very clever another one this one's pretty it's like a mustardy yellow color with the black cats and the cauldron and there's beautiful like patterns on them so Almost like little moons and stars and floral pieces. All the different moons around the cat. Oh my gosh. And then we've got this side here. Um, 
I'm feeling a little bit wicked today. Which way to the candy? <laughs> Find the magic inside you. Creep in it real. Believe in magic. Ghouls just wanna have fun. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. That's I, I find that quite cute. How they do that. Beautiful. Love it. Again with the hands, the moon, the stars, the crystal balls, the tarot cards, the stars and the moon. Oh my gosh. I just hope you guys can see from there like the pretty patterns because I know I'm a bit far away. Oh dear. Moving things around. On the other side. Oh, you can barely see this. It's so faint, but it's really cool. So it's black cardstock with lightly um i don't know if the glare is going to be on there patterns almost like zodiac um astrology uh, patterns on there i should say very cool we've got some bats With foiling, silver foiling. I love these this colour orange that they've used. Not the real dark, bright orange. It's a beautiful sherbetty orange. And then on the other side is this pretty sort of lemon colour. It's a cross between a lemon, like lemon and almost mustardy yellow colour with black spots. got some skulls and some crescent moons and there's like a little like snake going through the skull head and then there are stars I love absolutely love this one look at this with all the tarot cards so cute this is what got me with this collection and the colours. <laughs> I just loved all like the witchy vibes that it has and the um, like astro astrology um, out of all the crystals and the mushrooms. It just, yeah. It's very me. And look at that pretty. That's the black pattern before that I showed you um, that I was saying had all like the astrology. Um, like patterns but you could barely see it because it was that faded so it's on a pretty purple as well this one's a beautiful sort of mint like pale mint green sort of color with purple and black oh there's an owl the stars and then the other side is a black with oh, I don't know my eyes are kind of going blurry I think they're little white stars they are they're tiny little white stars but when you look at it I'm like all I'm seeing is white dots but you really have to focus your eyes to see that they're tiny little white stars but that's just yeah my terrible eyesight doing that I my eyes can't focus anymore I really struggle oh this one's got like um crows owls cats and beetles and moons I shouldn't say moons the, the moon <laughs> another fun one with your hand piece, your moon, your stars, your crystal ball, and all the hands, candles, love, love, love. Oh, a sequin. This one has, oh, look, the spider webs are shaped as a heart. 
and then you got the little spider. How pretty is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, that is beautiful. Lavender purple with the moons and the stars. The stars and moons, I should say. So pretty. And then look at this one. Got like full moon, crescent moon with the silver foiling. And then the other side you've got, um, I believe they're like stars, little twinkling stars. So pretty. And then we've got big spider web. Sorry, I just thought that was two pieces of paper, but the um, die cuts with a view paper pads, their cardstock is such good quality. I sometimes think I'm feeling two bits of paper, but it's actually one. That's how good quality it is. And these spider webs look so cool. They look trippy, almost like, um, like a kaleidoscope spider web. And you've got skulls on the other side. I love how all the colours coordinate with the opposite side. And that's it. There we go, guys. So that is my recent Spotlight haul. I will have more hauls coming out soon, as well as more entries for my um, Pretty in Pink birthday challenge. I've got quite a few unboxings to do of that, but... I thought I'd mix it up a bit and just show you guys what I'd yeah recently purchased. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care guys. Bye.